uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Wakan Kadash, and uh, Barak Thumb to the uh, elders while I give my aqua from us and Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, 2nd Andrew 16, verse 70 through verse uh, 78. That's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And this is uh, the book of 2nd Andrew, chapter 16, uh, 16, verse 70, and it reads, but there should be at every place in the next cities a great insurrection. Where you look up that word insurrection, which is an uh, uprise that's going to be occurring in these uh, times. As we see in the increasing of the seditions and uprises and of wars in the world. So, like it says in uh, St. Mark 3, verse 23 through verse 26. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand, which we're seeing right now. So, it's going to come into full effect as we enter into this uh, uprise, this great insurrection. It's going to come into full effect as we enter in those times. Second edge of 16 and verse 71. They should be like, they should be like mad man, spare not, but spoiling and destroying those that fear your hour by family word. Another time of Jacob's the hour of temptation, the great persecution. That's what we're going to be answering in these times, just like it was in ancient times of our 44 fathers during their times. It's going to be taking place in modern day times as well, too, because the scripture says there's no new, uh, new thing under the sun, like it says Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. What was taken back? What was taking place back then of our biblical signs, of the signs of the times? This is going to be uh, is going to be taking place in these uh, modern day times as well, too. This is a uh, second address, second address 16 verse 72. But there should be every place. It says, uh, for there, I'm going to read that again, Salaki, 2nd Andrew 16, verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Verse 73, then shall be known who are my chosen, they shall be tried as a go to fire. Right, as you read the uh, book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, which is the book of Sarah, the second chapter, you know, be tried as a go to fire. You know, during these uh, perilous times, you know, the time of Jacob's struggle, the great uh, tribulations, you know, the uh, great persecutions, you know, the uh, famine of the word. And uh, Zechariah 13, chapter as well, too, trying to go in the fire. That's why our scripture says, uh, Then it should be known who are my children, which is the uh, Israelites. And I don't want to rot side, call the uh, elders from Akim, that we be part of them. And all the uh, elders from Akim that scattered with the four coins of the earth. Lord willing, that would be in that number of that wonderful four of all the two tribes of Israel. That's why the scripture says, uh, then it shall be known who are my chosen. You know, the heavenly Father's chosen. Then it shall be known, you know, as we enter into these uh, times. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about lifting up the names of the heavenly Father, the hour, you know. Because at the end of the day, he chooses who, who, you know, the heavenly Father, he chooses at the end of the day who, who will he be, who will be his chosen, you know, which is uh, the Israelite you know? So I'm going to read that again. This is uh, 2nd Andrew 16, verse 73. Then shall we know who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a go to fire. Right, they're going to be tried as a go to fire. Then it shall be known who are his chosen, you know. And out of Maratza, you know, that the uh, elders, Wa'akim, that would be part of that, you know, Lord would. You know, we say that we're uh, making this humbleness and sincerity in the sight of the Heavenly Father, you know, as being his servants, and prophets, and messengers in these times, you know. Second Edges 16, verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, and say, if you have them, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Right, but I will deliver you from the same. Which is the uh, Israelites. I don't want to rot, that would be deliverance, you know, be saved from the times that we're about to enter into. You know? Second Andrew 16, verse 75. Be ye not afraid, be the doubt, for Yahweh is your God. Right, like it says in uh, Proverbs, the third chapter, the more. You know, the Israelite man that's being a servant and prophet and messenger in the Heavenly Father, you know, you know, so the more we acknowledge the Heavenly Father, he shall direct our paths. That's why it says, uh, be ye not afraid, need a doubt, for Yahweh is your God. This is uh, 2nd and 16, verse 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say if Yahweh is my power, let not your sins weigh you down, let not your iniquities lift up your sins. Why is the God of them who keep the Heavenly Father's commandments, his uh, law, statute, commandments, and his precepts, which pertains to the children of Israel, because the Heavenly Father only gave his law, statute, commandments to his uh, people, the Israelites, you know, the actual Israelites, the sons and daughters of the children of Adam, which is Yahweh. 
of his uh, of his uh, his chosen sons and daughters, which are the Israelites. You know, this is a uh, second Edges sixteen and verse seven. He said, uh, "Woe be unto them!" Because you look up there, woe, woe, woe is disgrace, woe destruction, and great disgrace. That's the de definition of a woe. It says, "Woe be unto them!" There are bound with sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over the bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel there through. Second Andrew 16, verse 78, it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Second Andrew 16, and verse 70 through verse 78. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakadash, and Barak Bum to the uh, elders, Wa Akim Akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom. Hello. Yeah, what's up, Mark? Uh, not sure. Huh. Now it's my government phone.